Hello and welcome to Nikki the Analyst doing another AWS Cloud Quest. Today, this one is about um, your I, IAM um, security group. So actually, let me go back to what we're going to be completing in this first part. Let me go back. Does it tell me? Practice lab goals, create a support engineers group, attach a policy that allows the group members to read, on, read only access to EC2. Um, verify the group members have read only um, EC2 access and then for the DIY part we're going to grant support engineers group read um, only access so let's go ahead and do that um, so on one screen you're going to see how I'm, we're going to you're going to see the practice and go step by step and then on the other screen is me on the AWS management console. So IAM is identity and access management. This is what is used to basically what it says is when you when someone's new to the group, what kind of security access do you have? And one of the questions that um, will be asked on the AWS cloud practitioner and a general rule, rule is, is, the least, is give everyone the least access needed and then add on later. It's way easier to give you minimal access and just add it on versus giving you access to everything and taking it away. So anyone who works in IAM, they will tell you that. Um, it's very important to update user access. I know, um, one thing that I've heard from people who work in that field is that they'll do audits every so often to make sure people at the company have the right access. Sometimes people will go from one role to another role and certain accesses need to be changed. I think we, um, well, I know personally, I worked at places and you got promotions or moved to a different department and you still have access to something that you probably shouldn't have access to anymore because it's not part of your job. So that is actually a violation. So uh, sh that should not be happening. So looking at step one, um, review lab objectives in the concept field, click start lab, already click that. Um, Create, I'm just telling this what we're going to do. I already said that. So we already started the lab. And now we're going to go over here and click and write I A M. Right. And we're going to go ahead and click that, like the directions say. Um, AWS Identity and Access Management enables you to manage access to AWS services and, and resources securely. AWS IAM is a feature of your AWS account offered at no additional charge. Okay. You will be charged only for the use of, of other AWS services by your users. Okay, let's go. So we are here um, and we're going to use our groups and then we're going to go to create group. I think um, the name of the group was security engineers, support engineers as well as. So we're going to go ahead and dive that in. Support, uh, no space, engineers. All right, and like the directions say, we're going to scroll down. And then we're going to um, go to attach permission policies. So here, um, AWS has its, is it going to say it right here? We'll, we'll double check that. AWS has its own list of um, policies, um, permit um, permission policies. You can actually update and put your own, like right here, it says create a policy. So um, that is one of the features. What does it say? A policy is an object in AWS that when associated with the identity or resource, it defines their permissions. AWS evaluates policies every time an AWS AM principal user R role makes a request. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and type this in. So we're going to use the Amazon EC2 read only access. Okay. Can you go ahead and find that for me? Okay, here it goes. So AW, I mean Amazon EC2 read only access. All right, and then we're gonna go to create. Actually, let's look at this description. Um, let me see. I've done this before, so let me let's go ahead and click it and see what it says on the inside. So you just kind of have an idea. All right, so the little description provides read-only access to EC2 via AWS Management Console. Um, doesn't have a JSON in there, nothing in there. Permission boundaries, go ahead and click around. Per policy versions, access advisor. So that's what it looks like when you click inside, just to kind of give you that idea. So then create group. And then we're going to go to users. 
Now we're going to add users. And these are the users that are going to um, be, um, these are the users that this policy, this these permission policies will affect. So we're going to do support. Engineer. One. Okay. Did I, oops, typed down the wrong area. Support. In. Wait, am I spelling engineer? Dash one. Okay. All right, I'm going to um, click this access key. Uh, pro, we want to access key, password, um, custom password. So we're going to put, oh, you can actually see my, I'll put show password. So let's see. So support, lowercase. Actually, let's go ahead and copy and paste this over. Just in case this comes up again. Make sure it's spelled exactly correct. All right, don't give me a hassle. Copy. Oh, forgot the S, but we can add that. Wait. How did we get there? Let's copy. Oh, well, it won't let me copy and paste it over. Sometimes it does, sometimes it does not. I don't know what it's still. Okay. And then require password reset. Yes. Then we're going to unclick that. User must create new password at sign in. So when creating a user group, um, so like, for example, when you've started at a new job, you'll see that like everyone has like password one, two, three. But then when you log in for the first time, it's going to ask you to create a password. And here we're not asking it to do that. But I think for the workplace, you might want to do that. So add user group. And we're going to put support engineers because we are going to add this group. And we it has an attached policy, Amazon EC2 to read only access. And then I go next tags. Hold on. Let's go previous. I think I missed something. Hold on. Okay. Well, I don't think we should worry about that. Just notice it had some right here. Okay, we'll just keep moving on. Key, job, title, support, engineer, video. Support engineers. So, oh, so view. So, username support engineer one, AWS access type, um, programmatic access, um, and AWS management console access. Custom no permission boundary is not set. We have the group in here is support engineers, and we have our tags job title support engineer and what is it telling us over here for extra security enable multi-factor author the authentication for all users in your account with mfa users have a device that generates response to authentication challenges so mfa we should all know what that is it's multi-factor authentication so what is it what do they say something you know something you have something on you all right so we're going to click create user Go to next. So we are going to copy this like it says. Copy. All right. So we successfully do it. The secret access key is available for download when you create it. All right. And looks like we have this access key, but we're only worried about this right here. So we're going to go ahead and close it. Okay, we're gonna open up a new browser tab. Paste. And we're actually gonna put in 
um, six four nine six seven three two five two zero three two. And I have support in engineer one. And what does it say to put for our password? Oh, yeah, what's the password we had before, which was support password one, two, three? Yeah. Support password one, two, three. All right, sign in. Okay, it looks like I want to use my own account. Six four nine six seven three two five two zero three three. And we're not using any of that. We're using support. Engineer one. Let's hope I did not spell anything wrong in creating this. S U P P O R T capital P. A S S W O R D exclamation point one two three. Okay, let's see. Hmm. All right, let's go back. Oh, it's completely signing me out of even. Well, that's no fun. So Yep, it completely signed me out of <laughs> all of them. Uh, so let's go ahead and open this again. All right. Let's look at the I am. So I am username. So it's loading up the users. Let's go just click into it. Support. I know we're gonna do something like this right here. I'm just gonna copy and paste everything to make sure that I am not doing anything wrong. Sometimes this happens. Okay, and then we're gonna, and I wonder when I did this password, did I mess it up? There's really no way to see that either. Um, so let's keep going. Uh, Actually, what we can do, all right, let's go over here. Um, users in this group. I wonder if we can just delete. Um, let's just go to the EC2 because I think maybe I typed in something wrong, but let's just see what happens. Um, we'll go to EC2, let's keep moving on and click the region. Uh, click the region, North Virginia. We're in North Virginia already. So you're just where we're already at. Okay, so we're good. We're gonna go to instance running. We're gonna click the word web server. And we're gonna click instance state. And we're gonna go terminate instance. Okay, let's go next step, terminate. We'll do this, we'll determine your authorized performance operation and go to blah, blah. Users can only perform actions that are allowed to sign AWS IAM policies. And in the policy that we just enacted, we're only read only. So it looks like we are done with that. So let's go, um, 
So let's go to support engineers group read, on, read only access to RDS. So we see that. So this is letting us know that we're not uh, able to go ahead and delete an instance. So let's go back to IAM. And we're going to update the access. So user groups. User group. Um, so we want to um, update permissions to so grant support engineers group read only access to RDS. So it looks like it would be called RD RDS. And if you're wondering where she's saying this, I'm seeing it right here. So let's kind of try to look that up. RDS read only access. Let's go ahead and it matches. Okay. Maybe read RDS read only access. Okay, let's get rid of that filter. Let's try RDS. Oh, add permissions, um, attach policies. Okay, there we go. <laughs> RDS read only. There we go. RD, okay, RDS full access, RDS read all Amazon RDS read only access. That's the one we want. All right. And we're going to add that permission. So they should have two permissions. They have um, read only access and Amazon EC2 read only access and the RDS um, read only access. And read um, RDS is a uh, um, is a database. So we updated that policies. Okay, I am users group name. So let's go to user groups. Let me click that right there. So copy. Let's validate it. Yes, I have correctly updated that. So let's go ahead and just share in one screen, because this is where all the fun stuff happens. Okay, so let's go ahead and exit. And we'll go ahead and turn up that music. Yeah, on mute site. There we go. So the person's like, this is great. Thanks for building the solution. Choose a reward. Who? Uh, I put it, no. What in the world is this? I don't even know what that means. We'll just go with the skyscraper. <laughs> wow, look at that. Look at that. We got fireworks. All right, let's go ahead and screenshot this. Okay, so what did I do today? All right. And woohoo, I've completed 10 assignments. Almost there. Yes. I leveled up, I'm on level 16, that's cool. And there we go. So thank you for taking the time to watch me go through this. Um, hopefully you learned something. We built a user group, we added some permissions, I made a blunder, I'll try to figure out what I did. I'm pretty sure in the setup, I put in something weird and wonky, but I completed it and I think I did good. So see you next time.